In 78, I had gone on the road. I had auditioned for and gotten a job with a band called Desmond Child and Rouge. Desmond, good songwriter. He later wrote a lot of songs, like with Aerosmith, Bon Jovi. You know, he's written a lot of big hit songs. Dude Looks Like a Lady. Desmond was in on that one. Uh, but a lot of big songs. Anyway, Desmond Child and Rouge. Rouge were these three women vocalists. Great people. It was a big band. And the cool thing was, there was a, a, lat, a Latina thing going on in that band. Um, so that was a nice influence. They were from, from Florida, from South Florida, Cuban. It was a you know, Cubana thing going on. Uh, there was a guy named Gilmore de Gap, Conguero. And uh, so I played in that band. Then the Rouge Girls, then I'm, by then I'm living in New York. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm doing little things, you know. Back in those days, there was still a lot of recording, a lot of recording studios and things going on. So it was pretty easy if you were like the fresh meat in town. That's what they always wanted, you know. That's what they still want here. You know, they want to grind you up and get the next guy, you know. But I was the new guy. So I started getting a lot of work, working in the studios, running around. And... Uh, the Ruse Girls got the job with Gilda. I don't know how they got that job to do this Broadway one-woman show, to be singers and also act a little bit in the thing. And they recommended to the people that were running the show that I should be allowed to audition for the band. So I came up and, and uh, I got the job. Lucky. Lucky again. And lucky I knew those girls, right? That's how it works, you know, you know this one, and then you meet somebody at a party, and then they go, hey, you know him? Yeah, okay. You know her, really? Okay. Then you must be all right. If she likes you, you must be all right. Come on. Um, so that's how I got onto Gilda's show. Oh, she's great, very professional. And, you know, by then she was big, huge. She'd been on Saturday Night Live for four years, and she was major in America, you know. What would I compare her to now? You know, I don't know. Amy Schumer? Yeah. Amy. Maybe somebody like that, although these are different times and fame is a different thing now. Fame was not so ubiquitous then. You know, be before the internet, not everyone was famous. Mm -hmm. And if somebody had gotten that lucky break and worked that hard to get to be famous, it kind of really was special, mm -hmm. you know? So, but she was very talented, very intelligent, and also very silly and funny. Mm -hmm. You know, she wasn't one of those comedians that was on all the time. Some of them, you know, uh, that I got to know afterwards through her, you know, they're always on. You know, Belushi was always on. Robin Williams was always on. Hysterically funny. But after a while, you were like, man, let me breathe, you know. Mm -hmm. They never stopped. But yeah, she was, she was great. Just a nice person. So had you seen her on Saturday Night Live? Sure. Oh, everybody. Yeah. Who didn't watch Saturday Night Live, you know? And also, they had bands on Saturday Night Live, so you'd always tune in to see who was, who was playing that week. 